Do you both target from the same spot, or do you yeah. move over a little bit? Or? Yeah, okay. I'm thinking probably right where this rock is. Just kind of stand there, and so you can get an eye on both. And get an eye on both, and one, and then the next one. Is that cool? Yeah, way cool. That blends in pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. You can see it with all those lines on it. It works pretty well. A little more of a challenge, I guess. Be fine. At least the wind died down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It looked like it was going to blow away earlier. Yeah. You know, I think if I did even something like that, get some cardboard backing, it might help. Um, yeah. You want to try some of that? Try that with uh, the extra piece of cardboard I have, yeah, or do you want in the future? As long as it doesn't become a pain on us. Yeah, we'll see how things go. I'm sure it'll be all right. <clears throat> For those of you that are just joining us on YouTube, this is a little slow, dry run featuring Crockett 20, Snow Logo 95, <laughs> and the late Boy Scout. Hello. Welcome to a, uh, we better name this thing properly. We can't call this shoot and move. That's dumb. What should we call it, guys? What are we calling the shoot? Yeah. Like a scoot and shoot? <laughs> scoot and shoot. shoot. Try not to freeze and shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we, we'll come up with a name that has something to do with the snow here. Stand by for awesome name. Inserted here. Insert here, yeah. <laughs> Insert here, awesome name for shoot. Running through our various positions, we're hitting some clays. And we are. This is exactly the uh, same course, or the same area, that, that is to say, where I did my uh, shoot and move uh, video series. All happened in one day, I'm sure you know that. In fact, there are some of the clays that I shot. Shoot and move. Isn't that cool? Came out here today. Some Crockett's with, targets. A uh, couple of people. Let me show you what's going on. It's kind of fun because we're all got our controls going right now. <laughs> we'll try not to uh, talk over the top of everybody's <laughs> intro. <laughs> no, this is my YouTube video. <laughs> You're watching the late Boy Scout, not Crockett. <laughs> They're horned in on my video. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Snow Lobo 95 here. And there's Snow Lobo 95 here. And uh, there's more clays right there. Little markers on trees, of course, just to help us out. And we'll run a little bit further. Look at all this snow, man. I was not expecting all this snow. What a snowy day. Well, you know, this snow's been here since probably last week. But it is uh, freezing cold. A marker. And yeah, check that out. Check that out out there. That is Snow Lobo's steel target. He made that thing. It's looking sweet. Let's go take a closer look at that. As we were preparing for the shoot, he mentioned that he had some of this steel and he was going to try to fab this thing up in time for the shoot. And he was able to pull that off. Very cool. He built this himself, man. Say Hard Ox 500, I think. Yeah. Awesome. This ravine actually goes considerably further way down there and then around again and then around that way again and we walked down there and scouted that out and that would be cool to go way 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 out there but on such a cold day uh, you know we want to just get out in here and ha start having some fun if we were to if we were to try to do it all the way out there I mean <laughs> just be spending all day setting up and resetting targets so we're trying to keep it slightly close somewhat close so that we can just enjoy ourselves. And that's the main point of being here anyway, right? Having some fun. Having a good time with some friends. We're gonna run some pistols, probably shotguns, possibly 22s and rifles. 
Um, we'll see how the day goes. Can't promise everything, but we want to have as much fun as possible, make the most out of our time. And boy, I'm looking forward to it. So glad we finally got out here. Just a traditional cap that you have to take off, and then you got, like you mm. say, two things. Yeah, and you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you always got to make sure you're not losing that. Uh, but. This one, the battery that I that came with it sucks. Oh really? Yeah. So I had to buy. I think it was about eighty bucks. Just a couple guys standing around talking about cameras. <laughs> yeah, but we're not going to talk about guns. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> That's not interesting. Let's talk about electronics. How about that new iPod, guys? Great. <laughs> Honestly, though, in, in our videos, we probably don't put a whole lot of emphasis on the camera, and that's one of the major tools that we, yeah. we use. So. That's a really good point. It is. I mean, it's kind of cool to see what people are using and stuff. And it's, uh, it makes it easier for people to decide what to use. Yeah. Right. And I had a hard time deciding what to use, and, you know, <laughs> finally settled on something. But, you know, that's the, the question I get asked most is what kind of camera do you use and what software do you use to edit? Uh -huh. By far, that's the. the most questions. I have to asked. agree with you there. I have to concur. I get the same question pretty often. Yeah, big time. By the way, what camera are you using? Uh, this is a Panasonic. Hold on. Got to look at the front of it here. Panasonic HDC S SDX1. And okay. it's brand new, and I hope I'm working it right. So it does use the SD cards? It does use SD cards. Work on reloading while yeah. your eyes are still. But I don't want to. I don't want to act like I'm trying to teach it because I'm not the person to be yeah. teaching that kind <laughs> of stuff. definitely not either. So uh, so in, in these kind of situations, we were just talking about what we were considering this scenario to be. Let's move this out so I can see myself. We we're just saying that uh, this scenario is, I think the first shots we're going to take here could be considered um, a semi-real life scenario, semi-real life uh, defensive scenario. From that point forward, it's basically just for fun. So Today we're calling the rest of them zombies, <laughs> and we're just gonna go on a little zombie hunt. We're gonna have that. We're gonna take out this first couple of zombies that are here, um, that are friends, and think about eating us. And then from that point on, there just happen to be a whole bunch of other zombies down there. That you know, we're gonna, we're just gonna shoot those ones for sport, I suppose. Why not? Huh? Who doesn't love shooting zombies? <laughs> <laughs>